Well, for me, good morning. We yeah, got the boat out. Um, and I'm really not focused on catching anything in particular today. We're going to get out and go fishing since we are a great, great fishery. Um, I'm going to try my hand at musky fishing today. Um, I don't have the GoPro with, so everything that gets shot today is probably going to be on my phone because the GoPro is is super dead, like more than more than dead, super dead. Um, but we've got one rod rigged up with pink pop diamonds, my lucky lure. We've got top water frog there. We've got a jig for the walleye. supposed to, so I'm going to try and get out and do as much fishing as I can before the, uh, the storm or the rain comes in. Alright, let's get to it. Well guys, I don't think it's going to come around this side, but there's just a float plane that I put down over there. I think I might... So, whoop. so I've got my couple bass. Um, you guys didn't see two of them because as I I hooked them, I was fumbling with the phone, and I lost them at the boat. So there's that. Um, so I think it only brought it to a total of three. But I'm gonna head in and get lunch now. Um, the boat start. The boat traffic start pick up, and as you just saw, there was a freaking float plane and my camera couldn't focus, so that sucks. But we're gonna go ahead and take off now, put the old Nissan four-stroke to work, getting back to where we're going, because we're in the southern end of the lake from uh, where we started. So let's get, let's get pushing home. land and we're gonna see if I have a crawfish bowl tonight. Alright, okay that sucks because the bait's all gone and uh, there was at least a craw in there last night. Okay. Alright, there we go. That's better. Look at the pig in there. You guys, I don't know how well you can see that. There's some big ones in there though. Holy crap. I've got two in the other one. This one is just loaded down. They're just stacked inside of that bait bag in there. So now I know the importance of that bait bag. I'm gonna put this one back in there. The other two are empty. And let's go look over here and we'll go let Duke out. Okay, so far the cone style is the winning style. I'm guessing that I, le I left too much space on the, um, the ramp for them to get out. Alright, let's see. I just saw one swim away, so that's not a good sign. Also, without a bait bag, your bait just floats. So that sucks, because that one's empty too, with all the bait gone. But the other one, or it did have a bait bag, and there's still bait in there. They're still fighting and crawling over it, so 
Let's go let Duke out and figure out what we're gonna do for lunch. All right, y'all, so we made our way inside. We got Duke chilling there on his bed. Um, what we're gonna do is make some Sammies. Like garlic, I don't know, buns. And I've got some turkey meat right back there, some beverages for lunch, and some cheese. Um, and since it's lunchtime break and the high heat, we're gonna watch a movie. And this, and today, G.I. Joe. So, um, once we're done with lunch and the movie and whatnot, we're gonna go out and harvest those crawfish, rebate the traps, and then um, probably go back out fishing. We got all day and nothing solid to do. I got one, one thing I have to do, but uh, it's, it's a good time, guys. It's really relaxing up here. I might even hang, hang the hammock and just chill with margaritas. All right, we'll see you when we uh, are done with, with lunch. We'll pull, go back to the crawfish. Okay, so lunch is done, and we pull. Look at how big some of these guys are. Like, there's a big one right in there. Look at how big these guys get. This is insane. Like, yeah, there he is. What a meat. A little freaking meatball right there. So I went ahead and reset the traps. Um, when the sun comes back, I'm about to crawl over one of, so I've got a couple on the end and they're coming out of the muck just to be inside there. There's already one inside. I watched him crawl in and it looks like there's multiple more I'm trying to figure out how to get in there. So the bait bag is on this end of the trap. Um, oh, there's a, look at this, can you guys see those right over here? Freaking lobsters. They're all over, the place is crawling with them. Um, so I've got the other one set right there, and then there's another one in the grass, you can't really see it, it's just barely in the middle of the screen there. Um, so that makes one, two, three. Went a little bit deeper with one for four. And then there's one way deep right in the corner here. With good luck, I won't have to cook chicken tonight. We'll have a crawfish boil. That would be ideal. Please. Next up, back to fishing. much wraps her up um, this is the next day from when you last saw me and Duke and I are headed back home right Dookie <laughs> so make sure you like this video comment on it if you uh, like to see more of stuff like this um, if you're enjoying the content hit that subscribe button as well I'm trying to reach 500 by the end of the year I've already dropped the standards to 500 from a thousand for now 36 hours on a lake by myself surviving off the water or fasting for 36 hours I, I don't know <laughs> so thanks for watching this episode of Spiced Up Outdoors I'm Justin aka Spice this is Duke who's already sleeping thanks for watching we'll see you next time